We concentrated on this area because we thought that there'd be more involvement with people coming past. The children coming in and out would be able to see their things growing easily. Well, two Fridays ago, we came, we put little lines with our hands, and then we planted the salad seeds. And then we came and we watered them, and they stayed in the sun. And a week later, we came and we'd seen they'd grown. To I was surprised, I didn't know it would grow that quickly. All the children got to um, make seed drills and um, put the tiny seeds into the ground. Everyone's going to be happy to see that we've grown, that we are really growing something for the school and eating it, actually eating it. The parents have also been really, really involved, which is great because um, it really brings the community together and the children really love their parents coming in and um, so quite regularly on Saturdays we have gardening weekends and um, I also run a parents eco club where we discuss issues um, around the environment and what we think we need to do next and we work on um, action plans and carry out surveys over the school. We plan for children in terms of caring for themselves, caring for others and caring for the community and those three underpin the work which, which we're doing here in terms of uh, sustainability. Um, in terms of caring for the community that would be things like recycling um, and looking after the environment in which the children are living and the children are actually working and we hope that by understanding about that that gives them a greater understanding about the, um, and the world and other issues sort of further afield but it's starting very much with the child and it's very much focused on the experience which the uh, which the child has and looking at the looking at the context of the child and where the child is um, and from and we try and do a lot of work with the um, on the families and the community which this children's um, center is serving been having some um, coffee mornings recently where we discuss with parents about uh, the information that's available to them uh, regarding their energy and water uh, bills, especially the energy. There's lots of um, energy efficiency uh, items out there now, bulbs, all that kind of thing, and we try to give them as much information as possible as parents. And actually we've had a lot of interest in that, and we're now running um, a gardening club on a Friday afternoon but also in, even with that we talk about a lot of sustainable issues about recycling, about energy efficiency and there's been a lot of interest from that. Um, that's been backed up from with Haringey, they've given us lots of information about how their residents can recycle more and how they can, uh, what energy efficiency uh, is, items are available to them and again with the watering um, the Thames Water have sent us through a lot of um, hippos and um, crystal waters and recently um, a healthy um, event that we held recently we gave out to the general public uh, some hippos and um, crystals that they could put in their own toilets so that they could actually use these as energy water saving devices. Um, we've been picking up this litter that has been, um, that's been left around these woods and we're trying to, trying to make it more cleaner so it wouldn't blow away everywhere. It makes me feel happy because all this rubbish has been put here by somebody else and it makes me feel happy that I can help and um, somebody else is like try and show them that this is what it's meant to look like. We come up quite a lot, yeah, in different classes um, and we, yeah, we do the, the growing of the plants and the picking up and all that. We get loads of vegetables out of the allotment and then we don't have to um, go and buy them from the shops and we can just keep growing them and growing them every, every month. It's great them grow because when we pick them all and put it in the basket and, and you can eat them and put it in the dinner. I like it because uh, we can join in everything and sort of learn more about the environment and things like that. Yeah, it, and it's great. Um, it's a bit clumsy. Um, 
This is it, that cucumber. They loved growing their own vegetables and seeing whose vegetables were growing the quickest and they love eating them in the um, school dinners and saying, oh, we grew these. And um, the Star Squad have been really brilliant and um, they're great at explaining their ideas and bringing their ideas back to the class. And it's really come from the children because one person on their own in a school can't change the school. It's the children that are changing the school and they're becoming more environmental.